it's habitual. Mm. So what are you doing with your breath? What are you doing with your posture? What are you doing with your gestures? How do you initiate sound? How do you make that interesting? What's the arrangement of your material? What are your memory techniques? Um, all of these things. And we define that and then say, mm, I've got some other ideas. Um, here are some things that you can add to your repertoire and possibly make some tweaks. And then we begin to incorporate that into their lives and what they need to do. Mm. It's fascinating that you said we just think what we do is natural and that's just the way it is. And I'm sure that must be so confronting for people when they suddenly think, you know, let's actually look at the way you communicate, yeah. how you behave. It may be natural, mm. but there are skills that you can learn. This is a skill development area, definitely. Yeah. It the, starts at the very beginning and the very beginning is how we breathe. And humans are the worst breathers on the planet. And so many people, especially under stress, are putting their breath high into their body. Mm. This is a catastrophe in an executive role. One will look tense, sound tense, and actually you don't get enough oxygen for your brain to work. So getting the breath under control and down is step number one. Mm. And that it's, it's, a, it's a habitual pattern of stress that 